Hey everybody, today's episode is brought to you by Pinecast.com. Pinecast is an easy to use podcast hosting site that lets you post your show to the leading podcast platforms, including Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and more. Sign up for Pinecast today using the promo code R-63F8FB to get 40% off your first four months. If you have a podcast or are thinking about starting a podcast, there's no better place to do it than Pinecast.com. Again, visit Pinecast.com and use the code R-63F8FB and you'll get 40% off your first four months. Today we have Swamp on the show. He's a good friend of both of ours and uh, we talked quite a bit about, like, uh, mostly about video games in the first part. So, you know, we always end up doing that, but... uh, in the second part, we had to cut it off a little bit abruptly because we were running out of time. I mean, we did a pretty long second part, so tomorrow's our long part. Uh, we also talked about Pokemon, the new Pokemon movie. Um, you know, just just a bunch of random shit. So enjoy the episode, guys. Don't give them clear shot. 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 That was a hot clap. Yeah. The director for those movies. I think I think his name is Max Landis. But they get, like, other actors and directors, and the guy that does, like, the fucking CGI for, like, superhero movies and shit, like, okay. the older ones, is on there. One guy does that. Uh, one, one guy. Of the guys. <laughs> they just pass them back and forth the in guy. <laughs> No, but they're cool. They do this thing called uh, Best of the Worst, which is hilarious, where they pick a bunch of, like, 80s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, like, B-flicks and watch them, and then they get hammered and talk shit about them yeah. for an hour. That's awesome. And it's wicked good. That so I've been good. watching that. Sounds like I watch that in the background, and I play Final Fantasy 15, and all I've been doing in Final Fantasy 15 is fishing. Because <laughs> <laughs> the fishing mini game is just so legit. You sound like all my friends that play Red Dead too. Yeah. That's everybody we were just about fishes. That too. Yeah. They were just hunting yeah, and shit. Like I feel like I want to play that game, but it's like I get to taking the headphones. I off. get to like. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna take way too long, and it's gonna be like so time consuming that like. It's not really even worth it. And then, like, apparently, like, you get into an open world, like, pretty soon into the game. Yeah. And then. That's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. The guy. Like, uh, everything is pretty much available. So you can just kind of stroll around and run into shit. uh, (laughs) It's like, I I don't know if I want to do that. Because, like, I'd rather have it be somewhat linear where I can, like, be like, oh, this is the main story. Because, like, if you're doing a bunch of side quests and shit, like, you kind of forget about the story. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, it happens in, like, you ever play New Vegas? Yeah. You play New Vegas. Well, I've played, like, I mean, any Fallout game. Any Fallout game. Like, you go, oh, shit, new area to discover? Oh, shit. Fucking yeah, yeah. Now it's immediately, time you pick up like a random. You go into like a random terminal, and then you just say new quest, and it's like, all right, yeah. cool, sweet. Yep. <laughs> See you later, Dad. I mean, Sky- <laughs> Skyrim was like, like that too. Like I didn't really, I I couldn't really follow the main I've story. Never I, beaten it. I played like two hundred hours. Never beat. I never beat it either. It's not even worth it. Most of the time, I don't even end up picking a side. Yeah, it's like the third thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> You, that's like the first thing you do. You I think decide. it is the first I think, thing. Because you have to pick between uh, well, you gotta save those two dudes. You have to, or whatever. Yeah, and like you either go in the one dungeon or the other dungeon in the beginning. You follow Raloff or uh, it's fucking the Sergei, guy. whatever, Nurmagomedov. Nurm- I don't Nurm- know what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, he's related to Khabib. Yeah. <laughs> Kal- Kalabib <laughs> and Steel Pick. <laughs> Yeah, so we got uh, our buddy uh, Swamp, Sean, Sick of on uh, the episode t- today and tomorrow. I'm going to jerk off <laughs> just Guaranteed. for you guys. Guaranteed. <laughs> so, Maybe. Yeah. Newcomer to the show. Yeah, we haven't had enough people jerk off live on I the show. I don't think we've had any. <laughs> I can start right now. <laughs> had, uh, I mean, I'll get it going. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we had a... Uh, Cody, I think, but Did Cody, he, he must have. Did you hear him talking? I believe, yeah, I believe he was close. Yeah, he always sounds like he's right about to come. Yeah, 
<laughs> I came right before I got here. Good. You need to. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let You have to have out. a clear mind. Yes. To be on the clear <laughs> shots. Yeah. You I'm let the ease. valves out once in a while. <laughs> the valves. <laughs> but yeah, fucking uh that's the thing is uh a lot of open world games can be overwhelming. It's it really is. It is overwhelming. And I feel like with a game like Red Dead where it's like they put so much time into like all the side activities like hunting and like all the other shit. Yeah. It's like I don't I'm gonna spend too much time doing that shit. Yeah. I'm like, just gonna go looking for that white horse. It's yeah. like the best one or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean Die I don't even bear. have the game and I'm going to do that now. Right. <laughs> right. It's like I feel like if I did all that stuff before I beat the game, it would mean more, <coughs> I guess. Yeah. Because right. I feel like after I beat Red Dead One and I just like walked around and shit, it wasn't that much fun because like I didn't feel like there was anything like really I had to progress towards. No, right. the only cool thing in Red Dead One was you can get revenge, but the only problem is that like online, uh, the, the story. Red Dead One, you you play as uh, John Marston's son at the end. Yeah. Oh right. You, you, can, kill, Jack, you like, can kill the uh, halfway through it basically. Is it the governor or something? Dude, or like, it was crazy yeah. because. When you play as, I mean, that's a p- spoiler, obviously. Fuck but it. It's that game is how so old. old. Is that game? Yeah. yeah, like at least a year old. <laughs> but you play as John first. It's like four. Yeah. And I felt like by the time you switched to the other character, I was like, "This game's got to be over by now." It was so long. Yeah. I was like, "This has got to be the end of the game." And then they're like, "Oh, just kidding! You have another twelve hours of playing as." Yo. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> Red Dead Undead comes out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was, was dope, dude. Oh, Red Dead, Undead yeah. Nightmare. That was, that was cool. wicked. Co- I never. Fuck yeah. I don't think I beat Undead Nightmare. I think I, I ended up just I doing did. the multiplayer. It, it I was, beat it without going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it took like eight hours. I Jesus. mean, it was. It had a decent length to it too. Like, uh, I don't know. It was relatively long, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, it also had the multiplayer and shit. Yeah. Which was kind of weird. Yeah. I felt like it was all just long-range shooting with rifles. <laughs> so yeah. Hoping that That's you all it is. The multiplayer for Red Dead was awesome. I remember playing with fucking, like, Sam Sapka and Nate Gorman and Nick Boone. Mm-hmm. Name dropping the shit out of them. But that was like <laughs> that was like the squad. We were the only people with PlayStation 3s back then. Yeah, pussies. <laughs> the thing is, with those <laughs> games, even with um, with Fallout, when you do, like, a multiplayer or something... You're losing like one of the big mechanics of the shooting, which is like slowing time. Yeah, which right. happens in Fallout too. Like, because you can you get the vats in Fallout, and seventy six won't have that pretty no. much. I mean, exactly. it'll have it, but it's not going to slow everything down. And I heard that's horrible. You like, know what? You know what's going to bug me about seventy six is that it's going to sell a shit ton. Yeah, and people are going to be like, or but that's going to be but, like, but, oh, it worked. Yep. Like, nope, it didn't. Cause... It's going to be the same game as Fallout Four. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Well, it, I which don't was... know why it's going to sell. I mean, you would think the pre-orders would drop right now, considering how many people have put out like YouTube videos on how bad the beta is and shit. But you got to think about. I haven't seen that. Oh you yeah, gotta think everybody's about putting how, out videos. How many people do you see trashing Call of Duty and Battlefield and right. Fortnite and PUBG? And they still get huge fucking numbers. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure the most played games still is like Clash of Clans and yeah. like Minecraft. Well, that's awesome. Minecraft is okay. Like it's I'll like, give that a pass. With Black Ops, like the new Black Ops, it's like I would expect no one to buy it right off the bat because they there's so many Call of Duty games. Yeah. But a ton of people bought it right off the bat. But it's like why wouldn't you just wait a week and see if it's actually good? Right. Like That's you can't what I wait do. you can't wait another Duty's week. Yeah. People can't though. They're they have all to get bad it. now. Yeah. I think. They're more or less they're all the same. I just feel I yes. liked uh I liked we were talking about this last week. I got World War Two. World War II is pretty good. Did you play the story? Fuck no. Really? (laughs) I haven't played a story since Modern Warfare 3. There's no story in the new one. Dude, the story story for World War II was really cool. Really? It was really cool. I had Battlefield 1 and it's like, that's that's a high bar. Is that that story good? Fucking phenomenal. Really? It's amazing. I didn't make it past the I tank beat it mission. twice. Really? Yeah. Really. Dude, okay. It's so good. That I went just, back. That just I got it fire. for free, and a couple nights ago I started it. And you know, like I just did like the beginning mission where you're switching between yep. players. You, just you basically dying. have to die. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I have to die here? Like, wh- what's my objective? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I lasted like an hour, and I was like, this is the dumbest game ever. Yeah, and like, then I died, and I was like, 
oh, like, oh, I'm supposed to do that. That, yeah. that might be my problem with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just didn't even shoot the next, like, six guys. I'm like, yeah, I'm you might dead, well just let dead, it go. dead. Jesus. Yeah, yeah no, it was but... free, so I was like, well, I'll get this, I guess. And right. I, I've tried it, so. I mean, maybe it's something I'll just play once in a while. The I'm just too fucking so caught up. Too. Multiplayer is, like, my favorite First person shooter multiplayer. Battlefield. I, I like oh, Battlefield. Yeah. Like specifically number one. Battlefield one. Yeah. Mm. I liked four a lot, dude. Battlefield four was good. Bad Company two, dude. Bad that Company one two was, was good. Fucking nuts. It was because every class had its own broken thing about it. You know. Yeah. You know how MW two yeah. had like Commando, mm-hmm. yeah. and like Marathon or not Marathon, fucking one man army. Like Bad Company right. two just had like. Each, because each your perks were attached to your guns, right? So if you used each yeah. gun enough, you would get like the stopping power or the steady aim or whatever. Yeah. And it was just like, as well, soon as you was, got uh, good enough to have that those perks with each gun, it was like you can be any gun, any best. class, yeah, yeah. And well, then was you, it was it nineteen forty three or something? There was another one that was. Uh, the World War II one with destructible environments. Yeah, it was like uh, yeah, it was, on the Xbox Marketplace. Or it was uh, 1943. Like. Yeah, and it wasn't bad. It was no, kind of weird. One was really good. And it kind of like was a one off. It came out on like the Xbox Live Arcade or something. I just I remember <laughs> I remember I love that I love that I I have to bring up Wes every episode, but every mem- <laughs> every memory I have almost always includes him because we spent so much time together. But I remember he got Bad Company one when it first came out for 360 multiplayer he literally put like a little thing of like electric tape in the middle of his screen so he would oh, know yeah. where the crosshair I was love, and he would do that. he would literally just spend the entire multiplayer just no scoping people with like an sv98 yeah. <laughs> it was it was fucked up like, there's a company that makes those like screens. commercial yeah. like crosshairs for yeah. your screen yeah it's just dust it comes yeah. with like a laser <laughs> <laughs> that you could first off you use the laser to find the center of your TV and then you could put it on your controller or something and it always goes to the middle of your screen no matter where you are in the room huh that's how that's how that's how you get pro counter strike I guess it's always in the same spot right with every shooter it's technically right dead center it right. should be it must be uh, there's some games that have the gun super low. I was like gonna Halo. say, it seems Halo has like, the crosshair low. Well, True. different Halo games felt like they had the gun in a different spot. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, Call of Duty is way down low, it seems like. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's almost off the screen sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, but we're in Destiny. You'll see the gun like on the and entire. Borderlands is the same way too. Borderlands yeah. will have the gun take up like a third yeah. of your screen. Yeah, like you're holding it like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's firing from the hip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a series that uh, they just announced Borderlands 3, and the big controversy right now is trying to figure out how to do the box art. <laughs> Did you see that? Wow. Because the first, That's what they're worried the, about. the first game had the one gun to the head, the yeah. second game had two guns to the head, and... Uh, are they going to get another one? Like, yeah, what do you well, do now? Apparently, they're literally thinking of how funny would it be if the psycho on the cover had three arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just another arm coming up. Just like another this. arm, like a That would be amazing. Him. I'm like, that'd be perfect. I tried Borderlands three. I didn't like, I didn't like two that much. Number one, I put too much time in. See, I liked the idea of like, and I think that's why I like Destiny is because there's so many guns that are unique. There were so many weapons in that game. Yeah. And, like, sure. they all kind of felt a little bit different. But also you get ones that are basically just reskinned versions of the other ones. Yeah. Well, I think... Genius. You played Borderlands <laughs> 1, right? I did not. You did not. Wow. Did you play the, the first Borderlands? Yeah. Uh, I played I played the way, first one. The way that you are with Destiny was the way I was with Borderlands. It was fucked. Like, I had every, every single class maxed out mm-hmm. with every subclass. But I like that each gun had a... A brand, yeah, like TDR or Malawan or right. Jacobs. So each brand, like Jacobs, was always like high critical damage but mediocre stats. TDR was like fast fire rate. Malawan was always elemental. Mm-hmm. So when you picked up a gun and you saw the brand before the stats, you'd be like, okay, cool, I know how to use this. Yeah. Okay. So it was basically like that was like another aspect of like your build. So there to, is, so to speak. yeah, like, there's something similar in destiny, but there's only a couple brands and yeah. you don't really see it. Like it's not like a big logo, the name. like yeah. a fucking, yeah. Like that was it'll the be on the with gun two, was With two, it, it got rid of a lot of the brands and just kind of, 
Right. And the, the, the humor, if you go back and play Borderlands 2, dude, the humor was straight up like 2011 meme humor, and it's so cringy. That's great. <laughs> it's so bad. They have memes in 2011. They weren't good. No, well, right. they were good for the time. That was we like were 15. Origin. They were starting up. <laughs> they were just a startup company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were being crowdfunded. Yeah. <laughs> but shit, man. Uh, fucking hey, man. Like, you think about just the way video games are nowadays and it's exciting because the companies and and uh you know people that make the games are so much smarter and they have so much more money now except for ea fuck yeah. ea <laughs> and activision yeah yeah especially after the diablo inferno announcement yeah what's that well oh. like does activision like, had did you what hear does about activision this? really do though like they're I feel a publisher like- now they just yeah, I was going to say, because like, they don't really have a hand. They used to do Tony Hawk. Yeah. yeah. They were, yeah that's that when was, they were, like, big. That was when they did the correct things. That and was also did, Neversoft. They did all the Call of Duty games, yeah, too. Yeah. Neversoft with the fucking eyeball. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> and all the Spider-Man games. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, no, they, they had Blizzard held BlizzCon this year. And they announced, they were like, if you pay extra for your ticket, you get, you know exclusive seating for this huge announcement for Diablo Mm -hmm. and people were expecting Diablo 4 right well what they did was they announced Diablo Inferno which is going to be DLC for 3 mobile exclusive (laughs) that's the the dumbest thing the newest the new Diablo game that they've been working on for years is only going to be on cell phones (laughs) <laughs> for years, and a At guy put it on the they Switch. did a Q and A. Right, <laughs> I, I'll pull it up for you in a bit. They did a Q and A about the game, and the first guy that comes up goes, he goes, "All right, guys, be honest. Is this like an out of season April Fool's joke?" And immediately, the director for Diablo Inferno goes, "What? You don't own a cell phone?" That's the Ver- problem. Verbatim. <laughs> verbatim is what the guy says. He goes, what, you guys don't own cell phones? Oh, my God. I mean, it's... <laughs> what a joke. Thing is, like, and that's everyone another does with... have a cell phone nowadays. That's right. Yeah. But how many people play games on their phone? Right. You play Pokemon Go, but that isn't, like, a time in- incentive or, like, a, a a big, you know, not time incentive, but, you know... It's not a dedication a, game. You're not going to sit there for eight hours a day and play right, on your fucking right. phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, unless you want your phone to overheat. Right. Yeah. Because like, I, I feel like that, it's like, it's going to burn your phone up pretty quick. It's going to yeah. kill your battery yeah. for sure. That'll be the real Diablo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In your okay. hand. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah. It's, there's, no, it's just... I mean, even with PUBG, if I play that on my phone, it's going to my phone's on fire after a game. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I've been playing for 20 minutes, but why? Why have <laughs> yeah. I been playing for 20 minutes? Yeah. That's why like, I spent all that time getting the Razer phone and putting emul- emulators on it, and, like, right. the battery just, it doesn't, it does it can't hold it. They just put out Pokemon MMO for the Android. I've been playing yeah, I saw that. Really? I saw yeah. that. Yeah. The thing is, and then I fixed my laptop. But yeah, it's yeah. it's actually good. It's re- it's it's fucking awesome. Because I played uh, it a little it's bit easy with you, too. the Poke MMO. Yeah. Or maybe it was Jesse. But yeah. I have it on here. I just reinstalled it recently because they have black and white like support yeah. now. So yeah, and I it looks no- nice too. It does. Yeah. It's gonna be the first thing to actually make me play past the fourth generation. Yeah, because I've never played black or white. So me neither. I was like, well, oh, I'll just play really? it through this. And- really? No, I didn't Dude. play. It. Black and white. Buy a 3DS. And, and what's oh, cool is like you can't even emulate it. Oh, I have it on my. I have it on my. On a laptop. computer. Yeah, it's a D. Yeah. It's a DS game. Yeah, regular. The DS. thing is I like have it I. It on my laptop. What's cool is I got my old account back, so I have like the whole Pokedex from the first three gens because right. I had already done it a couple years ago. Right. So now I'm just going through black with like. Maxed the, out shit. Yeah, yeah. But the <laughs> like thing a is, you can't, dollars. they basically <laughs> reset you though when you switch regions. So yeah. you can't like you get all your shit in your box, but you can only use up to level whatever your badge is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And they change the limit for the badges. Yeah. Like it's not till like the third badge you can use a level forty Pokemon. But it's like I just pull shit out of my box that's whatever the highest level yep. is. <laughs> yep. Use it. Or go buy it. Right. I mean, because I'm sitting there with, like, level 100 Tyranitars and shit for my party. Multiple? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have, like, and then Salamence and Dragonite. Oh, man. 
It's like I have like 18 level 100s in that game, and it's like I can't. As soon as I finish the campaign, I'm just gonna be raping everything. Yeah. And then it's just gonna be a goal to finish the Pokedex. Well, they again. have like tournaments now. Yeah. In, in the app. It's pretty crazy. Like really, that that's. Yeah. And I feel like it's a pain to run it on Android. You got to get all the uh, ROMs. I already had them. Oh yeah, Guaranteed. but they're not really that hard to find. But then again, yeah. I've been emulating Pokemon for like ten fucking years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the one that showed me how to do it. Way I yeah. just feel like it's easier to set up. Well, there's on the a computer. website called like yeah. Vim's Lair or Vom's Lair that legitimately has everything up until like PS2 era. Yeah, like everything. That's brutal. Yeah, that's what I have on my phone. Yeah, I mean, I. The only emulator I have on this is the Super Nintendo, <laughs> and I just have a ton of fucking ROMs for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, for my PS1 emulator on my phone, I literally only have just Final Fantasy. That's all I use it for. Yeah. And if I get really bored, I'll just pull it up. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, I, I don't know if I'd want to play it on my phone. It's just weird. Well, I showed you how my emulator it, works on mine. It looks like a Game Boy. Yeah, which is yeah. It's just you it's just weird playing things like is. that on your phone. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like with your phone, it's just like built to have a quick game, like a fucking right Candy Crush or some shit. Like right. something. That's, I think battery life is the the inherent yeah, problem. Yeah. Because it doesn't drain my battery that fast. Doesn't really. I can play it for like six or seven hours. Well, that's the thing is like the newer phones like just have really good batteries. So, so I feel right. like my phone, I have to do something with it because the battery used to be like over thirty six hours, and yeah. now it's like maybe nineteen. It's like developers that are putting things out on on mobile platforms are building the games for the current generation of phones. Right. So you yeah. have to have like a powerful phone to run a lot of this shit. Yeah, yeah. That's like I had people on the Final Fantasy Reddit telling me to uh, just stop using an emulator and just buy the games on the store because mm-hmm. all the Final Fantasy games are on mobile now. Yeah, all they the way are. up to nine. Wow. But it's like, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend twenty bucks for Final Fantasy Seven. I've already bought it three times. Yeah. Well, I think Seven <laughs> is only like, well, maybe it's like twelve bucks or something. Maybe. But it's like, I don't. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, you're better off buying a PS1. You might as well, PS2 honestly. Twenty bucks. They just announced it last week. They just announced that they're putting all the Final Fantasies from one to twelve onto Xbox, or one to thirteen on oh, Xbox. That's cool. They're all going to be on there by the end. Just of next put week. it out as a collection. Sony's. I would like... legitimately spend a hundred bucks, or even they probably charge you. Bucks. They could probably get away with two hundred bucks. <laughs> For, for all, all of them, you think I yeah. wouldn't buy it? They, Dude, they probably could get away with that. I think I like Final Fantasy more than I like football. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. It's like my fucking coke. I fucking love it, man. Yeah, I can see why people like it. I never finished any of them, though. That's the thing. Like it's I played like, them, and I never really like. It's like the story for all of them is always super generic. But it's like the character building and the abilities yeah. and the grinding. Yeah. Like you have to really like grinding. I mean, I guess it's Japanese like Japanese games. Like yeah, like Pokemon. You're sitting there for hours just leveling yeah. something with an yep. EXP share. Thank God, thank <laughs> yeah. God for podcasts. <laughs> Fucking hey, wait, what were you gonna say though? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Sony's making uh, the PS1 fucking. Uh, uh, Retro, yeah. yeah. You're gonna get that. Fuck yeah. Fuck I get the yeah. S and the SNES, dude. Let me get the Sony one. Yeah, hmm. it's all I saw. Literally all like I saw. Hundred dollars for four games. I'll play. Well, <laughs> fuck it. Literally all like, I saw was Metal Gear Solid One and Final Fantasy Seven, and I'm like, sold. Done. Yep. What is it though? It's just a console, a separate console. It's or? a console with like 64 games built into it. 64? They're doing 64. I, I think they're doing 20. Maybe six. Why don't they maybe? just release them on the PlayStation Store. You think they're that smart? You know? You you, you think they're going to pass up an opportunity to make $100? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I mean, Xbox was like, well, let's just do back compatibility, and then we'll sell like a version of the original Xbox controller for the... The big difference, right. though, is that the Xbox uh, 360 firmware is way different from all the old uh, PS... Uh, PlayStation yeah. systems, like they can't even make PlayStation Three games backwards compatible right. because of how complicated the firmware is. Well, they or the yeah the code. Most they of them have. They can't. Yeah, there's they some have. games. The thing do. is, like, like I played, um, like I think it's PS Now or something. You can get. Yeah. That's that's yeah. different though. You're not installing it. You're streaming it. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, they can do that. Well, so what? Just let people stream the games if they can do it. 
you need good ass Wi Fi. Yeah, that. like Wes. Wes has like linked in fucking eight G Wi Fi, and he can't even do it. And the controller gets all weird. Like it, it changes the buttons. Huh. You can't change a lot oh, of. Oh, you're options. right. It, it is twenty games. Yeah. What what twenty? I'm 20 looking games. it up right now. It's uh, Final Fantasy VII is the only one you need. Right. But um, let's see. And of course, I open the article and it's a video. <laughs> yeah. That's Make EA we... skate again. That's all I gotta say, <laughs> I, dude. Seriously I, though, I, I wish they on, would just do it. I was on EA's Instagram yesterday, looking at uh, Battlefield Five, like fucking promos or whatever. I clicked the comments. People are still only thing in the comments. Skate Four. Dude, oh, this is a this I, is a weird looking trailer for Skate Four. <laughs> I don't I, get why they don't do it. It just doesn't they're make fucking any sense. stupid. The guy I was looking into it the other day and the guy said something something along the lines of like action sport games are dead. And I'm like, you're, yeah, because you're not making them. Exactly, but he's a fucking idiot. Like people that didn't skate, they bought tried to all make, the skate games. Well, they put out steep and it didn't sell. Because that game I was bad. It, it wasn't that great. Yeah, was it say, wasn't it was, that. It, it was, wasn't that. It was, it was cool. cool. You had to be online for it. That's why. I really. Think. You have to. Yeah. I, I and don't there, know. and there's like almost no multiplayer assets. Like you just get to follow a dude yeah. or like see his score. Yeah, I felt like they just didn't do it right. Yeah, I, and I think they didn't. As long as you make the game well, as long as you do it fucking. Yeah, correctly, they just didn't. Don't it's like don't say that shit's dead when you guys are just doing it wrong. Yeah. They I mean skate it's like skate skate three so oh, like motherfucker because Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's like that wasn't that long ago. So it's twenty ten. Uh, right. Even eight years though. It's because you haven't made one since twenty ten. Exactly. So you can't say that's dead. Yeah, that's the thing too, is uh skateboarding's so much bigger now too. Yeah, I was gonna say two things. I was gonna say one, I don't even skate and I can't do it and I can't stand it personally like trying to do it I fucking love the skate games yeah. two they made skate 3 backwards compatible for Xbox one and it's still the most selling backwards yeah. compatible game yeah. made. they what what I think part of it was because they fucked up Tony Hawk 5 really badly yeah, yeah but really they bad. made it they they did that themselves like yeah exactly they that's legitimately what I mean. made yeah. it so bad. that's what I mean and they killed it themselves I think that I think the impact from Tony Hawk 5, like, they thought it was going to be great, and it wasn't, and now they're like, oh, this, we can't make skateboarding games anymore, because people don't want them. Well, right. no, you did you, it wrong. Yeah. You <laughs> made it the old way. Yeah. Like, even if they put out one of the, like, if they made Tony Hawk, I don't know. Like, I still probably would like to play the old Tony Hawk games. Right. Even Free. if it was a newer version of it. But 5 was just poorly done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, even so, if it was the same mechanics, they did it wrong. Right. Um, the list of the PS1 games for the little thingy. It's going to be GTA 1, Battle Arena to Shinden, Ridge Racer 4, <laughs> Mr. Driller, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 1, Twisted Metal 1. Oh, yeah. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey 1, Siphon Filter, Rayman, Tekken 3, Rain Rainbow yeah. 6 1, Wild Arms, Jumping Flash, Cool Borders 2, Final Fantasy 7, Destruction Derby, Persona 1, mm. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, which is actually what a wicked good fuck? game, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and oh. fucking underrated gem. I don't know if you guys played this, but Intelligent Cube? No. Mm. Did you ever play Intelligent Cube? I don't think so. Dude, that is the craziest puzzle game ever. That's it? There's no Dig Dug? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dig dug. <laughs> Next make, gen make version America of dig, dig dug. Make dig EA dug. dig again, <laughs> or make America dig again. No, fucking dude, Intelligent Cube. I'll actually, I'll show that gameplay at, at dude, the break I want too. Because like Intelligent Cube was this game where you're this guy, and he's on. You're just this, this white dude. He's in a business suit, and there's the you're on a platform, and these cubes are falling towards you, and you step on the cube on the platform and light it up, and when a cube lands on it, it goes away. Mm. It's like Tetris, but you oh. play on the board. All right. Dude, and it gets so intense. It's pretty cool. But Resident Evil Director's Cut, I didn't know was going to be on there. And that's the... That one's great. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. I Even though I have, you know, Resident Evil 1 Remaster HD 1080p 4K Xbox One Edition. Yeah. Right. And, but still... <laughs> Xbox One X Edition. Yeah. 
Xbox One X enhanced. Now, honestly, like that's worth it just to be able to play because it's going to be the classic controller, like the classic PS One controller. Oh yeah, and that just. And, I mean, the oh thing my is, God, like, imagine when you turn it on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the fucking sound. The f- I can't wait. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, mm-hmm. the fucking little uh. There was, it was funny because you could always tell if a game, if a disc was going to read by <laughs> when the thing zoomed in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were like, oh no, it's taking too long. This isn't good. You, like, you know what's going to You know, you know, you got a fucked up game when it opened up the CD player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the worst shit, dude. I remember yeah. my older brother gave me, he had Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 for PS1 and he gave them to me for like my eighth birthday. And it's the like only one that worked was Resident Evil 3. Yeah, I put in Resident <laughs> Evil 2, and it just popped up, and it was like all these random purple colors. Yeah. It was like, no! Track 1, track, track 2, one track is- 3. <laughs> track like, fuck. <laughs> I remember the fucked up one was if you put Alien Trilogy in. Uh, if you put Alien... like, Did you ever play Alien Trilogy? No. Did you ever play Alien so. Trilogy? It was Doom, but Aliens. Literally. Okay. The same engine, but just with Aliens. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was dope, though. Yeah, probably. And it was I mean, Doom super was great. hard. Because you weren't Doom guy. You were Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you were Sigourney Weaver in those games. <laughs> so you were a scrub. Yeah, dude. You start out with a pistol, and that's it. And it takes, like, 20 shots to kill an alien. That's fucking you have scary. To, like, you have to, like, run away and shit if, yeah. if they come after you. But, uh... If you put the disc in, I don't know how my dad would do it. I think upside he, down. You I think it was upside down. I honestly <laughs> yeah. think it was. If you put the disc in upside down, it would come up and it would just play the fucking cut scenes. And oh, you could skip to the end and just watch all the death animations for your character. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Dude, that's the thing that I think people... I don't want to be the old man yelling at a cloud right now. But like young no, there's, kids, there's a charm to some of that stuff. Young like, kids aren't going to be able to experience that, yeah, man. Like right. my like, little sister is finally getting into video games, and she has a DS, and she's playing, you know, like Ocarina of Time and Majora's yeah, Mask. But she's Pokemon. never going to find herself blowing into an N64 cartridge. Right. She's never going to. She's never going to smacking fucking... it to try and get it to work. <laughs> and shit. She's never going to like spit on a PS1 disc and wipe it off yeah. with like a towel to right. try yeah. and get it to run. Put, you know, put toothpaste in it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I did that recently. Yeah. <laughs> to play yeah, fucking you, Final Fantasy IX. I mean, it works. <laughs> it does. You cover it with toothpaste, let it dry for like an hour, and then you wipe it off. Yeah. Yeah. Josh's dad used to take a sander, a belt sander, to the bottom of my disc, <laughs> take it, take off like a little bit, and then polish it with something, and then blast more sand at it, give it back to me. I'd look at it, and I'd be like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Put it in, this shit would work. Fine, Xbox yeah. 360. Amazing. Unbelievable. Man. Some people, Mr. Just Damn like, MVP. I was yeah. always pretty good at keeping my discs and not I scratched. Was not. I was not. I, like, I, had, I know I there's one people of those like big I would, fucking CD cases that yeah. you would put it in, yeah. and then eventually it just became like a thick stack of C- CDs right. and discs with rubber I, bands. <laughs> yeah, I would go over to people's house and they would just have them laying around like I discs, hate CDs. That. And that shit. was my house. I'm like, what are you doing? Put <laughs> that in the that. case. Like, I, and I, I used to or keep I cram them all into one case. Yeah. That's what I would do. No, I can't because I, with my PS1, I had all my games in a, one of those disc folders and it got stolen. True. Yep. It's like, you can't carry all these cases <laughs> out of my house. It's <laughs> way it harder to steal that. Yeah. I had, I had with the CD case, the one that was like this big, it was the official like PlayStation one. Yeah. And hmm. then, uh, I had one that was for CDs that was like a binder and the binder one was accidentally given away at a yard sale. Oh, my God. Yeah. The games were in... It was CDs in the front. Yeah. My CDs. So my mom took all the CDs out. Didn't know that there were games in, like, the last three pages. Wow. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it was... It was that's lit. how Final Fantasy VII got stolen. I had it in that thing. And that's awful because that game is worth a lot of money yeah, on is. a hard copy. We talked about that last week, actually. <laughs> You, I, I fucking bought it on Amazon for 10 bucks and I sold it to Infinite Lives for 30 Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah, all you gotta yeah. do. Wow. It's a, yeah, or whatever just, I said last week. They're still they're selling it. down at Infinite Lives the other day. I saw uh, Diablo 1. For PS1? For PS1. The 3 disc set for like $70. I believe it. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. Nobody's they're gonna selling, buy this. They're selling. And it's will, gone someone now. Someone will pay for it. Somebody yeah. did. It's gone. They're selling a re- 
right, the last time I was there, they were selling a ridiculous Japanese version of a Nintendo 3DS game mm-hmm. for like ninety dollars. I don't yeah. even know what it was. It was Man, some. It was I, like. It was like an international version of it. I never got the chance to get the Halo Three Limited Edition with the helmet, Ooh. and I've seen it there, but I don't know if it's there anymore. But it was fucking expensive there, yeah. and I wanted to get it so bad because that's the only place you're gonna get it. You know, yeah. like you're not gonna. So Infinite Lives is the goat. It's like yeah. you can get it there for way cheaper than you would get it online. Someone online is gonna ask for nine ninety nine ninety nine, right. <laughs> or some shit like. Or they're going to have a bid, like an eBay bid, and it's just yeah. going to go up and up and up and up. Yeah, that's how I got. I got the official NFL Madden 09 Dallas Cowboys PSP from eBay. <laughs> they made those? Yeah, they made for that. Madden 09. If you, they had PSPs, and each one was custom with each team. <laughs> and I had one that was Dallas Cowboys colors. A regular PSP back then was like... 200 bucks. My yeah. dad ended up buying it for like 450. Wow. <laughs> but it came with Madden well, 09. You know, people still play the Vita. They the should. Because the Vita can stream games. And yeah. the Vita is also the ultimate emulator for Sony shit. Because it plays PlayStation 1, 2, PSP, and Vita. Yeah. And you can also homebrew it and put emulators well, I don't on know it. What the, I don't think they market Shout it. Shout out right. homebrew. For Love sure. Love those guys. Oh my god, that shit's amazing! I, I still just, need to rehack my Wii. I was just gonna say that because they're they're um they're discontinuing the online services at the end of January. So if you don't homebrew for the Wii, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't homebrew your Wii by January thirty first, you can't do it ever again. Hmm. I'm doing it when I get call, home. Call bag. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him. He's like, dude, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> he's like, here's a link to my YouTube video showing you how to do it, and I'm like. <laughs> Fuck. I just want them to make a Wii Sports for the uh, Xbox Switch. One. <laughs> just do it for the Switch. They have motion controls. True. <clears throat> How crazy was Wii Sports, dude? It was just so overpowered. It was amazing. Yeah. How crazy was that shit? We were, I w- we were ten. What's wow. funny is like Probably. the best game that ever came out for the Wii came with the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> like what the True. fuck <laughs> dude you're not wrong especially because they came out with Wii Sports Resort and I yeah. was like so it's the same thing I remember my cousin was except like, for they, on- they did have disc golf so you gotta take they, had, they also account. had the, the sword one they had Fruit Ninja before Fruit yeah, Ninja yeah. True. That's what it was. And they had the the fucking. I just remember when we got a Wii. I the had, bowling was a little bit different too, though. Like you couldn't just run one line and just right, missile yeah. the ball every time. I remember I had my I had a bunch of my fucking cousins and friends from middle school over it when I was like thirteen, and one of them, my cousin, brought over Wii Sports Resort, and we literally played it for like. 12 hours straight and yeah. we were so sore the next day <laughs> like, you get so you dude i fucked with uh mario and sonic at the olympic games <gasps> that shit was i think i have that, so that game good. was way too good i've never too. played it though i have never lost that game my That's dad's, the, one where my you, dad's was, the only person who plays the wii in this house <laughs> <laughs> i think everybody's dad I'll, is I'll the only him, one that plays the wii yeah. <laughs> I'll catch him playing disc golf once in a while. You Dude, know? I had the Wii in my room just to play like Mario Kart and like Super Mario Galaxy and shit. Yeah. I was at work and my dad texts me. He goes, you have the Wii? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I go, why? And he goes, I want to play tennis. And I'm like, yeah. All right. I tell him, I go, yeah, it's up in my room. Fucking come home from work. He's just fucking in his fucking racquetball gear playing tennis yes. in the living room. Like yeah. headband and everything. Yes. Like, yeah, he's like sweating. Oh, he's you are like, my dad. Drinking yeah. Gatorade. That's amazing. He's just drinking straight Jack. Like fucking. Fuck yeah. I remember my dad and I fucking played tennis doubles for days to get to the pro level and then never touch <laughs> it again. Yeah, yeah, just to do it. Just yeah, because you, you had to get like to level two thousand. It's about the story. And you only went up like Holy fifty. Fuck. You only went like fifty or hundred points a game, and if you lost, you went shoot. Yeah, you you, yeah, down it drops. Far. Boxing was fun too, but boxing was the one that really made you. I would just. It's yeah. funny because I I tried to actually use boxing strategies, but everyone who played against me would just go. <laughs> They yep. would just get wicked close to the sensor. <laughs> and they would they, win every get time. get close to the sensor and just flick their wrists like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. You know you can use a candle? You can use two candles if you lose your Wii sensor. You just you put a candle on one end of your TV, candle on the other end. That's fucking works. Need. It works. Candles, dude. Infrared. Light. <laughs> Not even like just who the, figures that out though. Him, like me, <laughs> <laughs> me. It's literally always Sean. We were talking the other night. That's when I realized that you might be 
one of the smartest people I know because we were talking about Vietnam the other night. We Was t- I? Yeah, we were talking about <laughs> we went out for a cigarette and we were talking about something about Vietnam. So what about being in Vietnam, dude? You know, you were, we were, we were <laughs> like, how do you about, bring we that up? We how talk- do you even? I don't, dude. I was I, don't on, I was on acid. I don't remember. <laughs> All I remember is that we went out. We were talking about Ho Chi Minh City, and you were like, "I'm oh, surprised yeah. there's a Ho Chi Minh City." And I'm like, "Yeah, he was a dictator." And Sean's like, "Yeah, he was a shitty one. Why would they name a city after him?" Right. <laughs> He was. And then you went on for like a minute or two talking about all the shit he did. And I'm like, I don't even remember this. We He's were... a dick. <laughs> Not a great dude. Fucking no. So you can literally just... How does that work, though? Because it goes with your yeah, TV? The infrared sensor on the on the Wiimote. You look at it. It's red. Yeah. Infrared. Fire. Boom. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Mind-blowing. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to go pay $30 for a Wii sensor in 2018. Yeah. No. If you can even find one. (laughs) Right. I paid $25 for a Wiimote. And then I went off brand, too. And then I go home and I'm like, fuck, I don't have a sensor. Mad cats. Yeah. I skate back (laughs) over to fucking Infinite. He's like, oh, I got one sensor. I'll give it to you for $32, I think he said. I'm like, you do like 20, dude. You're you like, just saw me buy four GameCube controllers and a Wiimote. You're like, do, do you have any uh, candles or incense? <laughs> <laughs> you got any Yankees? I go, I'm just going to go use fucking candles. Yeah. I asked him, I was like, can I can I see it? I look at it, little red dot in the middle of it. I go, yeah, I'm just going to go buy some candles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like, this wax all over my TV. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have to be burning it. Yeah. <laughs> and you blow it out when you don't need it. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I would never think that would work. Like, oh yeah, pretty so, much anything. Most in sensors infrared. Yeah, that's true. Comes out of fire. Yeah, I guess we're a little. Shady. I guess like I feel like a lot of time. I feel like they might just move to gyroscopic kind of shit. Like at true. a certain point, you, I feel like the infrared. Even with the Xbox Connect, it wasn't like it would register your whole body, but it was so hard for it to like recognize certain parts like where yeah. your hand is and yeah. shit like it did do it but just it didn't do it that well <laughs> jesus christ <I'm> sorry <laughs> that sounds great. i feel like when you over tighten it it's not really doing anything different it's already as tight as it can be <laughs> well if it was already as tight as it could be it wouldn't tighten more tight bubble well, i mean you kind of i just don't want to sit up putting too much pressure on my bladder <laughs> and somebody's in the bathroom per yeah. usual yeah yeah, Do you guys remember all those shitty fucking plug-and-play games that use infrared shit, like that Star Wars game? Did you ever play that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you ever I play think that? I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember. Like, There was a Star Wars game you plugged into your TV that used a motion sensor with a lightsaber. Oh, okay. That sounds amazing. It was, yeah, it's uh, like Beat Saber. <laughs> it's basically Beat that Saber. That doesn't sound amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, Beat Saber's pretty dope. It's like uh, Rock Band and Guitar I heard, I heard that's use, good, uh, yeah. Use the Vive controllers to hit the to hit the. Oh, buttons. okay. Yeah. So you're it's, like fucking break dancing. Yeah, it's like a rhythm game. Yeah. That's cool. It's kind of like DDR with lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's literally. <laughs> that's what oh, I s- no, I saw that. I saw yeah. a video of a dude playing that. It's fucking looks amazing. It's crazy. You need a whole screen though. It looks like a projector. It yeah. looks really hard, but I feel like once you get the hang of it, does look hard. Yeah, that guy dude, was killing Virtual it. reality shit, like uh. We went it, to me and Cody went to Rochester. We saw Queens of the Stone Age with West, and we spent the night nice. there. And he has the HTC Vive with like the room sensor. You ever play Super Hot? The fuck? Play what? Super Hot? No. The fucking it's like a roguelike uh, first person. It's like shooter. they're all stick figures. Yeah, it's all stick figures, but time only moves if you move. Yeah. So time with, is relative. Yeah. So in the like in the regular game, in the regular <laughs> game, you know, you move with like the sticks and shoot, throw weapons, use swords and stuff. But in the VR game, you use actual VR. Yeah. And like there was the one level that like completely sold me on it and we ended up playing it for like 4 hours straight and we beat it. You start off and you're sitting at a bar, you're a bartender. And all you have in front of you is bottles like this. Oh. Uh... I would grab the bottle with the one hand and then grab it with the other so I could whip it. And then a guy would come up to me, and I would punch him in the face and smash the bottle over his head. (laughs) 
and then you could, like, his head would explode, and you could grab his skull, basically, and whip it at another guy and punch him in the face. Fuck yeah. The whole game. And, like, you're shooting shit, and it's, like, laser sight, like, Matrix-type stuff. Like, you're grabbing, like, two Uzis. Yeah, what I like about it is that you can plan out the shit you're gonna do, because nothing's really moving. Like, it's moving really slow if you're just standing still. Yeah. So you can be like, oh, there's that there, there's that there, and you can be like, oh, gun. Like, oh, this thing, and then throw it. Dude, Cody... Shoot somebody, throw the gun at him. Like, it's near the, yeah. near the end of it, and we were we were pretty drunk. Cody ended up beating like three straight levels with just throwing knives. Yeah, and when Amazing. you do throwing weapons, it doesn't sh- like when you shoot, it shows you where you're aiming. Mm-hmm. I think maybe it doesn't. I but think with, it does with the throwing knives and stuff. It doesn't, and Cody would literally just like go around the map and find all the knives he can get and like juggle them in one hand, and just fucking oh, whip them yeah. like a fucking shuriken. <laughs> yeah, it was so it's sweet. Funny because when you hit somebody with with something, they just fall apart. They like explode. They break yeah. Into pieces. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Sounds amazing. What's it called? Super hot. You have a PS4, right? You can right? get it on yeah. PS4. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's on PS4. It's I need the VR. VR, though. You probably could get the oh, VR version. There might be VR on PS4. There yeah. is. Well, I mean, there I know there's VR, VR, oh, VR like for but the I mean game. for that game. I got Because I got the game for free on one of my consoles, but it was just the regular. I got it for free on Xbox. Even the regular game's fun, though. Like it, Even without VR, it's yeah. fun. It's very trippy. Yeah, super hot VR is on PS4. It's the same as uh, the Vive. Because you don't... How much is PSVR, I wonder? 100 bucks, 200 bucks. I think, think it's like 100 hmm. I've been thinking about it. Play Resident Evil 7 VR. Oh, my that would God. Be Remember when we fucking played that that night? Dude, even I Doom, need to finish that. Even you Doom VR. Yet? No. I fucking sold it because I was broke as shit. I need to buy it again. Dude, I think, that uh, game is... They just need to figure out so how to good. move around in VR. That that needs to be their priority. The original like in PS Doom, in Doom it was like look here and then you teleport yeah. there. The original PS VR had it <laughs> figured out because your left uh, controller had a stick on it, but now they don't have that. Yeah, that's weird. Why? Yeah, w- why would they get rid of that? Apparently, it was too much, uh, too many problems with motion sickness. But all you do is take a fucking Dramamine or not be a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm, I, I'll be drunk as shit playing VR and I'll be fine. But you won't catch me on a boat, you know? Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, when people are like, "Oh, I get motion sick from VR," it's like I don't understand it. It's got to be something mental. Yeah, well, I think, it's, I think because, it it's because it's because you're seeing yourself move, but you're not moving. That's what gets people. I think yeah. they're not locked in. Then they're not jacked in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, I guess Fucking there's Neo, dude. there's probably certain things that would throw me off, but it's it's just kind of the idea of like your actual momentum relative to what you're seeing. Yeah, is right. Disorienting. I think that's why people get it, but I've, I don't know. I feel like with sports games and stuff like that, you can use motion controls because you don't have to move that much. Right. Like yeah, bowling. West... Bowling is the perfect fucking thing for, oh, for any sure. motion game. That's why Wii Sports was so good because mm. they could just. It was such an easy. They were concept. all yeah. They were all games. It was baseball, tennis. Yeah, bowling, and with boxing, tennis you didn't really have to move. You just swing this way or this way. Oh, yeah. That's it. Um, West had a VR game. It was like a military sim. Where you actually, your inventory was on you, like uh, Arma. I saw that. Yeah. Have you seen the videos of people playing online? No. I saw people playing online, and they had this one guy who was, he sacrificed his entire carry weight and only carried a pistol, but he had all the ammo on him. So the rest <laughs> of the squad yeah. would be around him, and he'd be like, hey, you know, Sean, I need a clip. <laughs> Toss it to him. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And you can throw grenades without pulling the pin. So you, you know can be what? like, oh, shit. Bloop. Nice. Bloop. I saw a video. You could shoot of yourself too. I didn't know. <laughs> That's fun. I was I was playing the game against bots, and I like had like I a fucking. Quit. I had a rifle, and I turned it around and pulled the trigger, <laughs> and it actually killed me. Fuck <laughs> I yeah! That was the I remember shit. seeing a video of someone online, and because like with those VR games, you have to literally reload, like yeah. pull the clip out. But I remember seeing someone, another player, walked up to him and pulled his clip out and threw it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw that. <laughs> That one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you can go and fuck with people. That shit's he awesome. had this other one that was like a gladiator arena where um, you were like, it was like I don't know, some some random gladiator arena game, 
and you could you had to decapitate your enemies in order to kill them. And so, or not so. Fuck, yeah. Wes had a character whose regular strength was so high that he could grab a guy by like his neck and then grab him by his hair and rip his head off. And then he was beating people to death in the other guy's yeah. stall. Like dude, it was so good. Sounds legit. But the problem that is, is the a future. setup like that, that is, is so expensive. It's so exp- and you need such a good computer. Like the right. Vive is just really awesome. That's the thing. Yeah, like I think like Wes's computer is a few notches above mine. Mm-hmm. And his runs everything pretty well, but I spent over like fifteen hundred on mine. I'm not trying to spend any more than that. I don't even yeah. use it. I mean, optimally, I, like really, I don't care too much about having mind blowing graphics. I just want it to be able to run things, even at I, low settings. I would love right. to just play super hot VR all the time. Like, yeah, that's just that that fun shit, like that experimental. Yeah, and that's not a that's not a demanding game. No, not I at mean, all. you want it to run at sixty frames, but that's it. Yeah, that's probably where people get disoriented is when they're playing a VR game at, like, fucking 30. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> where true. Where they just, like, fucking screens flickering yeah. in their face the whole Fuck time. That. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? A butt? I don't know. It's been stuck on that for a bit. It's that's Francine's cool. vagina. Yeah, I don't... I, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like these these uh, VR games they got to move somewhere eventually because they kind of have stalled out. It seems like I don't think they'll be the standard. A lot of people thought that they would be the no, standard. I don't think they, they will be VR. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so. Just like how motion tr- motion controls aren't the standard. It's you know right. Yeah, that's true. We They're kind of gimmicky about, still. Um, yeah, I was talking to one of my coworkers about the PS3. Like that was the whole gimmick of the Wii was that they were motion controls. Yeah. And the best games aren't motion control. Yeah. Other than Wii Sports. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other one? Remember that one that was supposed to be insane? Red Steel? Remember that one? What's that? Where no, uh, no, it's no, motion no. controls and you have a gun in your left hand and a sword in your right hand. What the fuck? Yeah. And you Why? It's the, the nunchuck controls the gun. So you have to aim and move at the same time. And you just... You're immediate... Like, just... Pretending to play it is giving me fucking carpal tunnel. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you get carpal tunnel. Yeah. Um, there were a few games, though, like the the light gun games, um, or rail rail shooters, like Umbrella Chronicles right. and Dark Side Chronicles were wicked dope. I remember playing with fucking Steve Waite. Steve Waite and I fucking skipped school for like two days to fucking blast through Umbrella Chronicles on the Wii when it first came out. Fuck yeah. Because it was just like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 in like rail rail shooter mode or whatever. Do they have a hoverboard in Destiny 2? Is that what I just saw on your TV? No. Oh. Well, some guys' avatars <laughs> There's, just um, like on Yeah, yeah, you can make, like they have new avatars on Xbox now. That's cool. So you can put like a skateboard on your guy and shit. And so, like, when your screen goes idle like this, whoever's online, it shows their avatar. True. So if I'm, like, online and somebody just sees me pop up, I'm like, oh, I'm skateboarding all of a sudden. Fuck like, yeah. Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. But what sucks is they got rid of all your old items. Like, I used to have an angel's uh, hat and a Packers really? shirt and everything. That's fuck. I mean, you can, you can switch back to the old avatar. Oh, uh, word. I was going to say, because I remember my old avatar was wearing, like, he had, like, a backwards cowboy's hat and, like, a, a Daypesh mode shirt from Left yeah. 4 Dead covered in blood or something. Because I remember getting the the shirt, like, I bought it for, like, a dollar. I was like, I need to get a Packers shirt. That's awesome. That was a weird time when, right. when Xbox 360 was pumping avatars. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really strange time. I mean, there really was no reason to have them. What was, was the a couple other games what was that... the thing the PlayStation had? Was it PlayStation Home? Do you guys remember that? No. They had, like, a built-in Sims game for PlayStation. What the hell? Yeah. No, and it was really no. weird. You could use that as your home screen. Well, you it's would... like it's like the Wii uh, Miiverse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where it's just a bunch of created random uh, circular dudes, <laughs> like, walking around for no reason. <laughs> With the worst names ever. That yeah. was the cool thing about the Wii, though, was you could go and download other people's Miis, and you yeah. could get, like, movie characters and stuff. Like, I remember I had, yeah. on my Wii, I had, like, all the characters from, like, Family Guy and, like, Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger and stuff. And then you never use them. They just, just sit, Only walk in Wii Sports. Yeah, they were just... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Once again, Wii Sports. You just load your friend in, and you're like, I'm beating your ass. Yeah. He's like, it's cool. <laughs> like, why aren't you? <laughs> that was this actually a cool thing with, Wii Mario, Sports with Mario Kart Wii, yeah. <laughs> was the ghost feature. So, like, if you're if you if one of your friends played, it automatically uploaded their best times. Mm-hmm. So you it does that in them. Forza. It does yeah. that. Oh, it does yeah. do that in Forza. Uh, they're called Drive Atars or something. Yep. That's the only online part of Steep Ghosts. Yeah. Only part. 
See, I like part of what um, steep. It's all like their ghost game. times, yeah. I remember the old games, any kind of racing game, you'd try and beat your own ghost yeah. times. Mm-hmm. That was it. That was G or GTA 3. That was Gran Turismo 3 for but me. But what's cool is I only play Forza solo, really. Mm. So, like, I see my friend's cars, and it gives them your... It shows their paint job, too, like, which is pretty cool. That's yeah. cool. Is that Horizon 2? No, it's Forza 5. Really? Yeah. Wait, what Horizon are we on now? Horizon 2? Horizon uh, 4? 3, I think. Three. Or is it I, 4? Maybe it is it 4. It is 4, yeah. 4 is Horizon 4. 4 is so badass. It like, is. I've almost bought an Xbox just to play 4. I have had 5. You, that if, was the first game I got on the Xbox yeah, One. And I still play it. If you get an Xbox One, dude, you gotta get Game Pass. Cause if I get an Xbox One, I'm getting Skate 3, and that's the only thing I'm gonna play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to so buy true. a PS3, swear to God. Um, yeah. You can get them for like 40 bucks. I'm like the biggest shill for Xbox Game Pass because they're uh, Microsoft is putting all their <laughs> exclusives on it, and I've had it since the get-go. Yeah, they are putting What's out the big game titles. Pass? It's like you pay, you a, pay a certain amount of money. 10 bucks a month, and it's every single Microsoft exclusive, plus every month they add like 10 to 20 third-party games. Yeah, and you just get access to all of them. Yeah, whenever you want. It's like a subscription thing. Yeah, like the other day I got fucking Sniper Elite 4 free. Basically, whoa! Downloaded instantly. Badass game. You ever yeah. play Sniper Elite? Like the first one, dude, back in the day, dude. It I never played any so, of them. I think it, it's such a dope game. It's like you're just a sniper and you have to go around and like assassinate fucking like Nazi generals and yeah. fucking Italian commanders and shit. Like, they have, like I, wind now and bullet drops yeah. and all that, and you can change yeah. your guns and stuff. I played yesterday for like an hour. Like I didn't even do the missions. Like there's hunting the simulator and things like that that I would yeah, like to play. Yeah, I got play. that Those one too. Pre- I have one that's pretty I got, cool. Um, like the hunt or something. Call of the Wild. Yeah, yeah. Or, Call I of have the Wild. that one. Yeah, that one's dope. The hunt is like coming out mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, Hunter the Call of the Wild is wicked cool because it uses That's actual, it yeah. it's actual hunters, actual locations, actual guns. Yeah. You can, like, they have actual famous, like, I can't remember what his name I, is. They but, just need to put Joe Rogan in, dude. It's one of the, it is, there's one <laughs> of the guys yeah. from the Joe Rogan podcast is in the game. Yeah. One of the guys he's had on there, and you can, like, call him in to, like, help you hunt. Is that Steve dope. Rinella? I don't know who it is, but, um. His show is really cool. It's that meat really eater. realistic. Have you ever it's seen not Meat like, Eater? What's that? Meat Eater. No. I haven't Wait, seen is a, that the guy that was... Uh, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. No, he was yeah. bitching about how a bunch of... Is he the one that owns the steakhouse? Mm, I don't think so. No, There's guy. a couple episodes on there with Callan and Rogan, and they go with him on hunts. There's Yeah, I saw the one about the, the hunter that owned a steakhouse that he hunted and killed all the meat they serve there. Yeah. Or him and his friends, like... The, well, all, you'd be the, surprised. All, the, all the meat they serve there is like freshly killed mm-hmm. and they got like protested by like PETA and a bunch of vegans and stuff and they got death threats. Why? Like his wife got the shit beat it's out of him. It's better than a fucking plant. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like it's way more humane to kill someone in, something in the wild and then, than, yeah. uh, than it is to breed them and fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, kill them with a fucking magnet. <laughs> breed it for did. death. Yeah. It's just, I think Captivity. people get upset at the... That you taking a picture with a dead animal or something like your trophy, yeah. basically. It's yeah, like, like the thing well, with uh, they don't realize how much work goes into it either. Yeah, right. My the thing that got me was the guy that the whole Cecil the lion thing. Yeah, it's like yeah, he killed a lion, but it was on a hunting ground just for people to kill lions. Yeah, also it's not like he wasn't breaking a law. Yeah, or anything. like also most of the time, if you're allowed to, all the time, if you're allowed to hunt something, it means there's too fucking many of them. Yeah, yeah. Like, they want you to kill them. <laughs> I love yeah. it when I got in an argument with somebody at work last week because they were talking about how deer are super cute. And I'm like, you know that deer are worse than rats? <laughs> like, right. They're legitimately classified as, like, pests. Like, you cannot, yeah. you're not supposed to have that many deer around. Yeah. I mean, just the car accidents they cause alone, mm-hmm. right. you're not supposed to have deer. Fuck it. Send in wolves, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, even wolves are overpopulated in some places. Oh, yeah. Like, like LA Minnesota, has too many. The timber wolves. Yeah. yeah, like Carl Anthony Towns and shit. <laughs> yeah. I want to get... We got to get Peta on here. We got to get an Andrew Wiggins wolf. I want to go with Eric Peta hunting sometime. My dad turned on an offer to go hunting in the Adirondacks this, this winter. Only because he has to be, like, you know, an accountant and stuff. But <laughs> they were going to have him... They were going to be like, yeah, Chris, we'll give you your own gear. We'll have a gun ready for you. All you got to do, you got to take a week off. It's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> I've never been hunting. Yeah, me either. I think I, I feel like it'd be cool. I feel like it'd be I've interesting, even if you don't, even if you don't kill anything. I mean, like, yeah, just to go on it like once with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah, 
just to like experience what it is. My buddy Brett has a has a bear license. He can Word? kill a bear. And I'm like, has he? Dude, no, not yet, because he doesn't know anyone that knows how to hunt a bear. <laughs> yeah. And he, he just found some. Josh Christopher's like sister or something says she has land and, and knows that she's been tracking this bear. She, she's got a deer li- or bear license and shit. And I'm like, dude, go hunt a fucking bear. Yeah. And that bring is, his well, head there's, home. There's like. probably a certain point where like... You don't care if you have a bear license because if you're in a certain situation, you're <laughs> just you, gonna have to kill the fucking bear anyway. Right? Like, <laughs> if you get attacked by a bear, like, yeah, imagine like, sneaks up on you or some shit. You like pull out your bear license. You're like, <laughs> you <laughs> show, show it, it to, to him. him. <laughs> you're like, hey, I can fucking kill you. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm allowed to do this. Oh my if god! If you attack me, we both go down. <laughs> Oh, shit. I watched a video the other day. A guy gets tackled by a bear, and the bear just keeps going. Mm-hmm. It was like, bear attack video. It was like clickbait. I was like, oh, Knock shit. Him over yeah, they'll I'd just love run to right watch a guy die by a bear. And then <laughs> and then he just gets fucking tackled. You just see it coming at him. I'm like, oh, shit, it's Dude, about to get real. Yeah, What's that DiCaprio f- movie where he gets attacked by the bear at the beginning? Revenant. <laughs> yeah, The Revenant. I was going to say The Edge, but that's with Anthony Hopkins, I think. Apparently, there's a Leonardo DiCaprio movie I haven't seen. The yeah. Revenant? Yeah, he won an Oscar it. for that. The Revenant was really good. No. Wasn't that the one he won an Oscar for? Maybe. He it won one been. Oscar, and it took fucking 20 Eight years too yeah. long. The Revenant only came out maybe five years ago. Yeah. Um. Hmm. No, I was, I was watching uh, all these animal attack things. Because when animals attack, you know that shit's going crazy. Yeah, because someone's getting hurt. When yeah, they were talking on the, <laughs> might be the animal, on one of the might... Joe Rogan episodes I was watching. They they showed this video of a dude that he was like a crazy fucking like diehard Catholic, and they he he jumped into a fucking tiger pen or a lion pen to try and convert the the, the animals into <laughs> Christianity. Oh and Catholicism. my god! He got ripped to shreds. That's always the move, dude. Because you know they're gonna listen to you. <laughs> yeah, you know they're gonna it's hear the you out. The most ridiculous thing I've yeah. ever heard. You know in my life. that they're gonna hear you out before they yeah. go at you. You know. I mean, other than the guy being Catholic, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, but about bears being scary, I was Religion, gonna talk about dude, how I saw this makes thing. You do crazy shit. It was the beginning of the year. There was a bear that was bigger than a Jeep Cherokee. This bear was like 3,000 pounds, like 11 or 12 feet tall. Are we talking bigger than a 96 Plymouth Voyager? Honestly, might have been the size of the bear. <laughs> they, they said it, it took a crane to get him out of the forest. Oh, my God. And it killed like 18 people or something. It, yeah. Like in its den, it found the remains of 18 different humans. Well, it probably figured like, well, I killed one. so like, And it was well obviously just... in Russia. Because of course right. it was. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think it was fucking technical. I think once you kill one human, that's when you just go off. You're going to go off and kill a <laughs> bunch of other ones. You might as well. At a certain point, Especially you're Especially if just, you're a Russian bear. Yeah. <laughs> At a certain point, you're in the shit already. So it's like... I've got the taste for blood. Yeah, just go for it. Like, I don't know. That's fucked. It's I like bet a, you all 18 killers. of those dudes tried to beat up the bear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All those Russian dudes were like, oh, this pussy? Fuck this pussy. <laughs> well, that's probably the him. mindset of serial killers. They're like, oh, I killed somebody. I'm already fucked. Like, if I get sure. caught, I'm fucked. So, like, get, might right. as well just keep going. <laughs> might as well go. <laughs> Fucking send it. <laughs> might right. as well roll with it, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's crazy. Once you get the taste for blood, oh my you just God. want more. That's yeah. good. Let's uh take a break here. Cause Jake has the piss anyway, I think. Yeah, I'd like to smoke a cigarette. Take a fiver. Clear Shots is available on any of your favorite podcast platforms. Clearshotspodcast.com is the best place to find all of our social media links. You can find us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Clear Shots Pod. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.